What's up, guys? I want to talk about the SEC championship game that just ended a little bit ago. That was a great game. I'm a big Alabama fan, so I'm, of course, very happy we won. 32-28 uh, was the final score. It was a seesaw game in the fourth quarter, back and forth, each team taking the lead. Uh, Alabama ultimately took the final lead. With about three minutes to go, A.J. McCarron hits Amari Cooper with a 45-yard touchdown pass. But the whole second half of the game was dominated by Alabama's running game. T.J. Yeldon and Eddie Lacy just ran right through the uh, Georgia Bulldogs. They got 350 yards on the ground. That's crazy against a defense as good as Georgia's. Georgia's got several players that are going to be picked high in the NFL draft next uh, April, I guess it is, when the draft happens. Um, very good game. Instant classic, I think. The... Uh, First half, not much scoring. Halftime score, I believe, was 10-7, but it really picked up in the third when Georgia jumped out to a 21-10 lead. They scored a touchdown and then scored another on a blocked field goal attempt by Alabama, a long field goal attempt that was blocked and returned for a touchdown. Um, but, yeah, at the, after that, Alabama surprised me. They really came back at Georgia, and they just did it with the running the ball. Eddie Lacy was unstoppable, and the only thing that could stop him was ultimately injury as he went out early in the fourth, I believe, and didn't come back. But Yeldon picked up right where he left off. Yeldon had, I believe, 25 carries for just over 150 yards. Lacy had eight, 20 carries excuse me, for 183 yards, I believe it was. Great game from both of them. Uh, A.J. McCarron struggled. He and To me, he has really struggled the whole second half of the season. They uh, started in the LSU game where he did not play well all game long, and then in the end he led that drive to come back and beat them, that amazing drive that saved Alabama season, we thought. And then the next week he again looked subpar against Texas A&M, and they lost. He looked good against uh, two not-so-good teams to finish the season in Auburn, and I forget who the other team was, not even a uh, Division One team, I don't believe. And he just looked so-so against Georgia. He made that big throw at the end, but other than that, I think he was like 13 for 21, 160-something yards, one touchdown, one interception. You know, the start of the season, he was very good. He hadn't thrown an interception in 200 passes, uh, but something's off. His, and on top of that, one thing that's really bugged me in the first half of the game was the play calling. Uh, Nick Saban was consistently dialing up passes on first down, which I thought was a huge mistake. Early in the game, it was evident that Lacey and Yeldon could have their way with that Georgia defense, and it should have been exploited more in the first half. Excuse me. And it wasn't. Um, but Saban did realize his mistake in the second half, and he just got a heavy dose of the run game, and it proved to be the difference. And Georgia, at the end, just could not. You could see they were huffing and puffing and they were tired. They were worn out. That Alabama offensive line, which is the best in the country, really put it to them, and it won the game in the end, I believe. Now Alabama moves on to face Notre Dame. This is the matchup I've been clamoring for for most of the season. I originally wanted to see Alabama play USC because I just want to see S uh, SC have to play an SEC team. But once they started losing, that became uh, – not possible. So Notre Dame was my second choice. I wanted to see Alabama Notre Dame classic matchup. Should be a good game. A lot of uh, the experts are going to say you know Alabama's a big favorite, and they should be the favorite, but not a big favorite. I don't think. I don't think there should be a big spread. Notre Dame is legit. I didn't think much of them early in the season until they beat Oklahoma when they took down the Sooners. They caught my attention, and then I mean they beat Stanford. They also beat SC, USC. Uh, so they're good. They play SEC style football. They have very good defense. They have a good running game. It's going to be a very good game. The question is, can Brian Kelly keep that team sharp in, in for 36, 37 days? The championship game is not until January 7th, which is a big beef I have with the college football system. I think that's entirely too much time in between the final game of the regular season and the championship game. You could really see that last year when Alabama crushed LSU 21-0. One team was well prepared, one was not, and we got a really crappy game that the Tide just dominated. So, but it should be a good game. Brian Kelly, great coach. Nick Saban, of course, great coach. Two very good teams. The key matchup is to me how well Alabama's defense has been struggling. How well will they do against Notre Dame's offense? 
that's going to be the key matchup. I think Alabama's running game can score on anybody. They're going to get some points. How can Alabama keep Notre Dame down? That'll be the most interesting part to see. Let me know what you thought about the game. Leave a comment or a video response, and thanks for watching.